Use your senses fully. Be where you are. Look around. Just look. Don't interpret. See the light, shapes, colors, textures. Be aware of the silent presence of each thing. Be aware of the space that allows everything to be. Listen to the sounds. Don't judge them. Listen to the silence underneath the sounds. Touch something, anything, and feel and acknowledge its being. Observe the rhythm of your breathing. Feel the air flowing in and out. Feel the life energy inside your body. Allow everything to be within and without. Allow the isness of all things. Move deeply into the now.
feel the power of this moment and the fullness of being. Feel your presence.
connection with the unmanifested. You value, love and deeply respect the manifested and every life form in it as an expression of the one life beyond form. You also know that every form is destined to dissolve again and that ultimately nothing out here matters all that much. You have overcome the world in the words of Jesus. Or as the Buddha put it, you have crossed over to the other shore.
see and touch cannot take you into being. But that visible and tangible body is only an outer shell, or rather a limited and distorted perception of a deeper reality. In your natural state of connectedness with being, this deeper reality can be felt every moment as the invisible inner body, the animating presence within you. So to inhabit the body is to feel the body from within, to feel the life inside the body and thereby come to know that you are beyond the outer form.
before you miss the now, the most precious thing there is. Why is it the most precious thing? Firstly, because it is the only thing. It's all there is. The eternal present is the space within which your whole life unfolds. The one factor that remains constant. Life is now. There was never a time when your life was not now, nor will there ever be.
Thank you.
yourself can then no longer survive. This is called surrender. Surrender is not weakness. There's great strength in it. Only a surrendered person has spiritual power. Through surrender, you will be free internally of the situation. You may then find that the situation changes without any effort on your part. In any case, you are free.
implies that you will have to find out for yourself. He uses a negative definition so that the mind cannot make it into something to believe in or into a superhuman accomplishment, a goal that is impossible for you to attain.
underneath the level of physical appearances and separate forms, you are one with all that is. <laughs>